Hello everyone, welcome back to Dungeon Rampa 2. We're still knee deep in this investigation. We're gonna go to the Monokuma Theater. For reals. Yeah, which, I mean, nothing bad could happen there. Uh, alright, with this we might be close to finished investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Do we have to talk to her? I think we do. Right. She's, uh, just, here's, a, like, ba just based on location and opportunity, she's like my prime suspect for convincing Ibuki to kill herself. I cannot figure out where Hiyoko fits into this. Yeah, but I, Hiyoko called her pig bark all the time. Right, 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 and I just don't know how she would have the opportunity to. If she was under the despair disease and is the opposite of her timid self, she might be forward enough to kill everybody. True, I just don't know when she would have had the opportunity. That's why, I, like, another a person high up in my mind, if they did have the despair disease, would have been Sonya. How about it, Mikan? Have you found out anything by now? Oh, lordy. To tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. You got it wrong! But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. But even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? Yeah, yeah because it could be important. Yeah, you would definitely want to know, especially Hyoko, because that would give that would tell mm -hmm. us before or after. Before or after Ibuki, that would be huge. I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders in, a, occurred. No. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. Mm, as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistakes of the order of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Uh -huh. Huh? You don't know Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. <laughs> How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. The one we didn't see. That movie? Good instincts. Hmm. The assumption is, an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then it is possible that one more person might have been killed. No. This too must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation because they're only allowed to kill two people, I thought. Uh, hold on a sec. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed. <laughs> are you guys worried there's going to be another victim? Then no worries. Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. Hmm. <laughs> On this killing school trip, the same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. Wait, 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 wait. The same blackened. So, hold on. If, alright, let's say someone tells well, Ibuki to kill... kill Hyoko, and then someone tells Hyoko to kill herself, would they be... They would still be is, instrumental in killing two people, though. Yeah, are they technically the blackened if they told Ibuki to kill Hyoko? I wonder if that's why that whole thing about... Ruling? Yeah, I wonder if that's why that whole thing about, like, Peko being yeah. a tool and all that came up. Ooh. Huh? You mean you've added a new... another rule? Yep. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the Blacken would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um, if it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. Um, and you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Mm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Yeah. So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Abuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. 
That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two? <laughs> or four incidents overlap one another? I wonder if these were all questions that they, like the developers got. <laughs> like, how would this work? Silence! Sh shut up! <laughs> it's okay. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning, two killers can't exist at the same time. So, it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Mm. I don't like this. All right, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they hadn't accomplished, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. I'm telling you, one of them killed the other one. Is what it was. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. <laughs> I see, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. But this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, yep that makes, makes things a little easier. Fine. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people... Face your powerlessness! It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Uh, could it be? You haven't seen it? No, see, we, we paid a fortune not to see it. We should have watched that damn movie. Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So, like I said, that movie. Oh my. When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out imitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good instinct. Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie as if we were copying it. As if they copied that the movie? I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. We just saw this. It can't be helped. Gut feeling. You should come by the theater. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um, then I should get going, too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um... Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Hmm. Probably the hospital, for sure. First victim Ibuki was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we cannot go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Yoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Okay, so wanna start with the movie theater? Let's start with the movie theater. And then I'm I'm more interested. I think we're going to get more clues out of uh Kyoko's room. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The Wizard of Monomy. <laughs> hello there. Hi, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their truth as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey, hey manager, a customer's here. Did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Huh? Hajime's the customer. D do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sundari Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy. <laughs> You were so devoted to being Sundari, uh, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for 1.5 million dollars. Huh? You paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker? I it's nothing. Listen up! In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid 1.5 million dollars for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nayito? Th stop it. But my resistance was in vain and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. Ah! See, it's this one. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. That's <laughs> you bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, he still got gotta watch the movie. <laughs> Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here. Okay, here you go. It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. 2.5D. <laughs> By 
the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date on this ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Then I'll go, I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Uh, Hajime, about the invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep it safe. Huh? Why? No reason, just think of it as a protective charm. I feel it's a clue. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. I think it's going to be proof that we never saw the movie, is my guess. Oh. Because I have a feeling they're going to try to pin it on us somehow. Because we saw the body Possible. first. Hashimi, I can't believe you bought that thing, and you paid $1.5 million for it, too. But even you said you should have just settled it with money to get out of seeing that movie. You're right, but that means I would have had to buy that thing, you know? J just leave me alone. No, no, no! Hold on, I'm still in the middle of preparing. Don't rush, don't Are rush. Are you sure? Hasty boys get hated, you know? They might even get hated by boy bears, too, you know? You can hate me all you want. Uh, alright, is there something else we need to look at? Popcorn? Oh. Should we get some popcorn and drinks? Well, uh, oh yeah, let's get popcorn. That reminds me. That item should be on top of the counter. Ah, that's what they wanted us to look at that. Okay. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth, and that's the one that was on, uh, Kabuki's head. If the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Hello there! Were you interested in buying that tote too bag? Bad. Well, that's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid! <laughs> stupid? There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that'd reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm. Uh, um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey. Um, when you buy one back, you get another one free. It's a common practice to pay customers with a bonus prize. Okay. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me yeah, off. Yeah, I thought there was only one bag. Monokuma's account. Well, now. now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I can't wait! I <laughs> can't wait! This is exciting! Exciting! Alright. Hmm. Um. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D, that sounds so half-assed. Well then, please relax and enjoy the film. Alright, we get a little movie within our movie. Sweet. Oh my god. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of <laughs> old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Okay. <laughs> One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Makes sense. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. <laughs> so he began his journey to see the wizard Monami who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. <laughs> when he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage so, he pumped her full of arrows. Okay. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. So, Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. <laughs> okay. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami. The, the third one that didn't powerful. die is going to be how the Blacken gets killed. Pump full of arrows. Guaranteed. Oh. That'd be 
That makes sense. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating <laughs> the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. <laughs> With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Pretty good story. That was a fantastic story. I mean, Best I, I've seen all year. I, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I was going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Ooh. The, act, the voice acting really did it. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues. One for each head. So now then, let's meet again at the class trial. Bye. Bye bye. Are you confused about his one for each head? I think he's talking about his like white side and black side. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. <laughs> That's all I can say to describe the situation. Okay. The, I mean, the hanging one fits. The, the cutting was the. the it was a neck. One. Yeah. How was it? I actually don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie you've ever seen. Ever seen? Is it even okay to call that a movie? Whoa. But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's by what they were missing. Akane was missing her courage. Right? No, that doesn't add up. Cause... No. All right, never mind. But you're on to something. Not just that, but Hyoko suspended... Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, I too. thought it was pumped full of arrows. But, make but it was up against that. It was. Oh, it was, it was up against the tree. Yeah. Ah. It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer's upset about that right now, or if the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it. But I'm not sure if that's even true. Alright, Yoko's. Nope. Yeah, let's go to the motel. I just remembered, I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I didn't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be faster just to ask someone. What up, Gundam? So you have a You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. He's not talking to us. Hey, which room was Hyoko staying in? Listen well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Alright. Damn yeah, right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue, he met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break it down the door and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey. That's the most, this is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall. Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Oh, no. oh, oh we already. Okay. Yeah, we already saw this one. Uh, Gundam. Uh, besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Manami. I see. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Yoko was killed between the time you saw Buki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That... that might be it, but... I... 
While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. Oh, lordy. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikon panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on, and she said a, she said a Buki disappeared. Oh. Is it not Mikon, then? So, you guys split up and looked for a Buki, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, while we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Well, no, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for a Buki, but we didn't see anyone. Hmm. Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for a Buki wasn't very long. Hmm. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true. I feel like there was enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. Uh, what? Do you still doubt geez. me? Well, I'm used to it. It's true. I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. It's oddly specific. Ah. I don't want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Just know this guy, you'll end up in concrete. Yeah, we should probably just not talk to him. Alright. Okay, so let's go to Hyoko's room. Hmm. Looks like it's locked, but... We have the key. The key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this... Is the king in there? It opened. Sorry, we had a key. We've been playing Kingdom Hearts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it opened just as I thought. This key was Hyoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. Mm. Okay, this is probably going to tell us a lot. Or nothing. <laughs> so, I Hyoko was staying here. Huh? I thought there'd be blood. No, I don't... I don't know that she was killed before she got to the theater. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Oh, hello. Oh my! Oh, did you leave the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um, I see. What, did something happen? No, it's just... I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Alright, it's usually never as... There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone could use this. Okay. Bed... The bed isn't messed up. Doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. See, that's what I was curious about. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there's that kind of stuff. Can't look at the fridge. Alright, so we'll... <gasps> it's a Monokuma on the toilet. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so despondent when he's caught. Um... The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, however, right? However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in this room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her Perhaps. room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her, her kimono? Um, ah, this is going to be important. Um, yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by, time, by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then, I saw it. Um... Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but she, then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiru is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Yoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. Then Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She... Probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. 
That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? Oh. If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be mm. bad for your health. Um... Uh, and that's when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be? Yoko, remember that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Hmm, I can see that happening. Yoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? Um, I never told that to anyone. And I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Agreed. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. We just have, now we just have to go to the uh, oh, um, oh back to the, the hospital. hospital. We'll do that in the next episode. Back I'm to assuming General hospital. Yeah, I'm assuming that's probably the end of the investigation. Yeah, because I don't know where else you could go look. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I know a little bit less than when we started this episode. I agree. I felt like I at least had the killer down. Now I'm now I'm hedging a little bit. Hmm. Anyway, uh, it's Mahiru from the grave because she couldn't tie her kimono. Makes sense to me. Ghost man. Ghosts. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.